Hey guys, this is YL with Blockchain Academics, and I'm going to be explaining what technical analysis is. I use TradingView for my technical analysis needs. For technical analysis, you could call it charting, or T8 for short. So let's get right into it. I'll jump to the whiteboard. So fundamental analysis, and you have technical analysis. These are the two types of analysis you can do to determine where the price is going if you're going to buy and when you should sell and when you should buy too. So fundamental analysis is looking into the business or company or coin, looking at the accounting, the financials, their plans for the next one, two, three, four, five years, looking at their burn rate, how much money are they spending, what they're making, their growth, their net, everything, all the nitty gritty stuff, like all the paperwork, all the facts, all the factors and that stuff, and then determining if it's a good entry from there on end, and then determining if you should sell it or if you should just kick it to the side. Fundamental analysis was very popular back then, you know, um, 1970, 1980, people would be using fundamental analysis to determine an entry point or even if they should or if they should invest into the business or company. And then technical analysis got introduced. So fundamental analysis kind of got booted out of the way. People still use it, but not as much as technical analysis. So when technical analysis came in, people thought, these guys are weirdos, you know, like they're drawing lines and things like that to determine price. So what technical analysis is and what it means is you're looking at, oops, you're, okay, let me throw it here. You're looking at past price, volume, or past history of price and volume, and basically you're, you're, all you need is the chart to determine if you're going to get in or if you're going to sell and when to get in and when to sell. So like I said, you're looking at past price, volume, and history, and then that's all you need is the chart and, and some basic tools. So there's three ways a trend can go uh, when you're looking at charts. That's up, down, or sideways. And I'll just draw sideways, kind of like this. Oops, you have a little, just a, um, imagine that's not there. So up, down, and basically sideways, like stagnant. Um, and also, let me zoom out there. You have different time frames. So you can have a large time frame, like this. But in between those time frames, it could, you could have some drops. You know, so you can have a long time frame, a mid, medium time frame, or a small time frame. So overall, this is going up long term. This could be in the year chart. So overall, this is going up, but here it's going down. And that, that looks like a medium time frame. You know what I mean? This could be a month or two. Now it's going back up another month or two, going down. So this is overall going up. When you, the, Here's a good saying, the trend is your friend. So when you're trading, you, you want to see where the trend is going long term because you don't want to short a market where it's long term, it's, it's bullish, which let me share these terms with you as well because they're very popular. Bullish is when a chart is going up. When the price is going up, it's the soaring. So imagine a bull coming down and up, you know, with its horns. And then bearish, that's where you guys want to stay away from, unless you're shorting that. Bearish. Imagine a bear's hands and they're just clawing down, you know what I mean? Check out that Tron shirt. So they're just clawing down. So basically, bullish and bearish, you have different time frames and you have different movements, up, down, sideways. So let's dive right into it and check it out. Trading view is what I use, like I said. So let's check out Bitcoin. Bitcoin, yeah, perfect, Bitfinex. Just gonna go over the basics. So we have support and resistance as well. That's just using a line, as simple as using a line to determine where your support and resistance is. So let's look into time frames right now. You can see here, you have the different time frames, one day, one hour, uh, six hours. So we're looking at the chart in a day. You can see that all these candles represent a day. So here's perfect. We've come down in price from 20 grand all the way 
to 5700. If you look at this, this is a downtrend. We're coming down, but you can see that this is still very profitable if you know how to trade these. If you could spot the support, so uh, area and price where you can see it's reacting. This is the support. Hit here, hit here, almost here. Bounced off here once, twice, almost the three time, fourth, and we're coming to bounce off here again. So if you can spot the support, so if you see here, even though this is a downtrend, it bounced from here to here. That's almost 100%. Um, but then it further went to go down. And you can see the time frame. So we've been coming down from January 2018 to almost October. We're in September. So we're almost going to be going for a full year downtrend. But you can see how many times it's been up once, twice, three times. So like I said, you'd really want to watch out when to short or when to go long in an overall bearish market because, you know, we're in a downtrend right now and any moment this can keep shooting down. So that's basically it. And then you can see here, this was a long bullish uptrend. So that's the basics for technical analysis. I didn't go into the indicators, the tools, because those are going to be in another video more detailed just on what technical analysis means, what what fundamental ah sorry about that, what fundamental analysis means, how they differentiate, and here's trading view, a tool that you could use, you can find in the link below. That is very awesome for charting. I'd recommend if you're gonna be charting full time, this is a tool that you must get. And it's free as well. So Use, use TradingView to your advantage. You can use technical analysis to spot entries like I just showed you. Why would you buy here when this looks like super great support? You'd be patient. You buy here. Let's say you did buy there, waiting for that jump. That's 40%. 40%, 31 days from here. You don't see that in any other market. So if you learn how to use technical analysis, some very basic tools, you can learn when to buy, when to sell, when to get in, when not to get in, because that's very important, and where to place your stop losses, where to place your automatic sells. So if you buy here, yeah, you'd probably place a stop right below there, just because the price has never hit there. So if it comes down below, you'll get out automatically. So that's my very simple video on technical analysis, show you guys some very basic examples. I don't want to go too deep into it, because those are what the next videos are going to be about. So subscribe, like, comment. If you have any questions, throw it below, and I'll definitely answer them. I'll make a video about it, and that's about it. So thank you for watching.